Good morning, everybody. A uh, happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is Scanty Plans, and we are doing a January 2022 plan with me. Um, thanks to everybody who commented on the last couple of like videos and posts. Um, I am feeling much better. Uh, you may still hear it in my voice. I just still have a lot of stuff happening in my nose, but it is recovering. Um, and yeah, we're kind of going to jump into it. Um, I have decided on a sort of like, I don't know. I, I always love, this is one of my favorite washi tapes. I got it from Simply Gilded. Fortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to run out anytime soon. Um, I know it's like astrology, but it's also like they are stars and I like astronomy. Um, and oh, all the, uh, gym flip stuff happening. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do that theme. Um, I made a new inbox for in here. I was going to say, has that been on Instagram yet? No, I think I'm going to post it. Like I posted a picture of what it looks like on the inside before I added anything <laughs> because the idea is I keep the inbox private. So that's why it's folded over in itself. Um, but anyway, so that's sort of the color scheme that we're going for. I think I also, no, I haven't yet. I was going to put some of this washi down for my rolling weekly, but I haven't done that yet. Um, because I haven't rolled over yet, but I'm going to mostly keep my planner off camera out of frame, uh, so that I can take a look at that while I'm up here. So this is the freebie from my shop, and now that we're in 2022, or my planner-wise we are, um, this is available. It's for free, like I said, on all sizes. Um, so there you go. I had it in my planner last month also, but that was like a sorry, because I made it for myself. Um, it, and it wasn't available, <laughs> only 2022 is. Anyway, so there you go. Um, that is just going to be in the front, as is minimalism it's just a sort of cover page. Then we are just going to stick with the same layout we used last month. It worked. I feel like I haven't gotten tired of it. Um, I have other things I can try because I did release a bunch of monthlies in November. Um, and so I probably will switch it up, if not next month, the month after, something like that. But for now, this is what I am going with. This is insert 62 on the left, which is the month on one page and kind of like a dashboard style. Um, and then on the right, I want to say this is insert five. Uh, this is the Eisenhower matrix, which I am trying to get into the habit of using. So I left it in there. And then on the back, instead of doing the monthly review, which I have put in my planner for the last like two or three months and haven't actually done yet. <laughs> um, I put the currently dashboard on the back instead, cause I have had better luck with that. So I don't know. Uh, I am actually just going to start with this. Um, I just like to give it a little bit of a highlight. These are mild liner brush pens, which I use for everything. Because I have the full color set of them. Uh, do I want to just put the... Uh, yeah, I don't know. A little bit. I always love the look of this like grid washi uh, when I see it on Instagram, but then I never really know what you're supposed to do with it. Is it weird to put grid washi over something with a grid on it already like this? And if it's a different size grid, okay, I just folded it under on itself. I'm just going to use a little bit of this one. This one was from Night Owl Washi, which has changed its name and I can never remember. So every time I have to tag her on Instagram, I have to look it up again, which I probably will at some point if I'm going to be using this. So Google or wait around for that. And yeah, that's good enough, right? That's just the back. Then on this side, um, should do. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait and decide which highlighter color to highlight these headers or sort of titles with um, until I have done this side. <laughs> I think maybe I can do a little bit of, I wonder, ooh, is this crazy? If I actually rip it horizontally, is this something no anyone has ever done before? 
so I, I've cut my washi this direction before um, to make different widths, and that has always worked fine. I just uh, don't need it to be super wide right now, like that. It looks kind of silly by itself. I want to layer it over something. Um, so maybe some more of this grid. All right. Oh dear. So two. There we are. Here we are. I have to decide what my goals are. I thought I haven't actually. Okay, yes, garden planning. I'm going to do a little garden planning. And. Um. I think there was something else. I don't remember. Right now. There's a lot of stuff that gets put off when you're just worried about getting Christmas out the door. And it has gone off well. I enjoyed, sorry, enjoyed my uh, four day weekend. I hope you guys got some good time off and to spend with your families. Uh, we got. It was uh, enough time to have the busy, crazy fun and also the um, just more quiet uh, downtime as well. We had a really lovely Sunday and Monday of sort of family time. We got to play a board game and yeah, it was good. I'm going to do the same thing in the corner here because I don't think I need to fill that in too much. I'll just use the other piece here. Sorry about my framing. I'm not being good right now. Okay. How's that? Does that look like uh, someone who knows what they're doing did that? Alright, I'm going to highlight things. Let's see. We've got month stickers from Mad Hatter. They're in here somewhere. At least I think they are. Yep. I just got a bit of a jumbled mess over there. January. Come on. Oh, it's sticking. Some of her stickers do have a little bit of issue around the edges. Getting them to come up. That centered more or less. And let's get this little tiny paper tab off the edge of it. There we go. Not All right. There we go. And then I will highlight this one with this color. Um, like that. And then I guess these will get this color. <laughs> That's the extent of my decorating a lot of times. It's just highlighting the headers. Or sometimes highlighting them and then replacing them. Um, I did this last month. I needed to highlight the bar at the bottom so that it didn't look like it was a task. And this was the what to do with each section part, which... I'm going to pull out. This is what it looked like last month. Um, I'll just copy that over before I forget. Do it. Uh, postpone it. Delegate it. Or someday maybe. Yeah, of course. Run out of space. All right. So that just sort of is a cheat sheet there. Um, so yes, I do need to do some garden stuff. Um,
And I'm going to now move stuff over from this monthly that didn't get done um, from the Eisenhower matrix and stuff. Let's see. Uh, I hate phone calls. Um, I say urgent, I just mean like sooner than later. So, like I said, uh, garden planning is one of these goals. I'm going to do that in a color though. There we go. Getting some stuff together for the spring. It's not urgent yet because we are still in the full swing of our winter garden. Um, but I am looking forward to the spring because I'll be on maternity leave and hopefully able to spend more time outside during the day, which is great. Um, I do need to do, I have this citrus, uh, fertilizer that I won in a pumpkin weighing contest at the Harvest Festival at the local feed store. And I keep, uh, I haven't used it on our Meyer lemon tree yet because it's just a big bag and it's in the garage. So I have to go all the way in the house, open it up just to pull out like a cup of it and then it'll be open. So I just have to kind of hype myself up for that. Um, I'm looking at events here. Obviously those are all done. And then things here that, let's see, gallery photos. Yep, that does need to happen. There's like a, um, a wall between December and January. Um, and it's like psychological where it feels like uh, January is farther away than it really is, which obviously like I'm planning for it right now. It's it's right now. Um, but all the things that are in 2022 feel like they were not a uh, priority until now. And now suddenly they're all going to come crashing down because Christmas planning is over. Um, and this is exactly how it happened with wedding planning. We got married in May. Not this last May, you know, like five years ago, uh, almost six. And it was like planning was like, yeah, yeah, it's all future stuff. There's plenty of time until suddenly the new year came. And then I was like, I felt the timeline suddenly in a visceral way that I hadn't before. And that is how I'm feeling about this pregnancy. He's due end of April or early May. And so I have three months of work before I'm off. Um, and we've got to just, I mean, there's not that much that we need to do, but just have to figure out the car situation. And also, um, since I know so many of you are so supportive, if you want an extra prayer intention, my husband's looking for a job. So that's just a little bit of extra stress that I've been trying not to think about, but it does affect me. Um. <laughs> So we're going to figure that out. Uh, I've got a little mini month up here and I don't think I'm going to highlight much. I was highlighting my days off or if like that matters because like, I know when those are, but um, there's less of that happening. Let's just go ahead and pull up our future log. <laughs> I'm going to show you what a mess it is. The only thing on the future log itself right now is this crossed off stuff <laughs> because I was on the phone scheduling this ultrasound we needed to have done. Um, and I got first a picked a time that wouldn't work for them, then a time that wouldn't work for me. And so I just like crossed them off and used new lines and it looks like a mess. And I, because it's the beginning of a brand new future log, I might feel self-conscious about it and actually like white it out and try to fix it or reprint it or something stupid like that. Even though I clearly don't need it because there's still two more lines that haven't been used yet. So it's fine. Maybe I will force myself to just leave it as is because I'm not going to be using this once I move everything over to the monthly. Anyway, uh, let's see. So yes, we've got my nephew's birthday party which I think is still on. There was some hesitancy over Christmas plans. No one really knows what's going on with Omicron. It's good fun. Then I have that ultrasound. Like I said, 
And I'm going to have to check a few more places around here. Uh, let's see, there's a February appointment. Um, far future. I'm going to pull out the, I'm just telling you what I'm doing off camera as I'm looking at the school calendar. Um, let's see, we have the 17th off. Okay, so I'll highlight, highlight this. Uh, that's off school, that's off school. Doesn't really change that much. We just take her straight to the babysitters instead of dropping her off at school instead. Uh, let's see, because we still have to work. Noon dismissal does not apply to preschool. Um, January. Oh yeah, okay. There's open house. I'm just gonna put open house here. It is on either the 30th, this calendar says the 30th, and the other, the email said the 31st, so that's a Monday. So I don't know which it is. Uh, we're going to figure that out and confirm and write it down at that point. But that is coming up and we're kind of excited because as preschool parents, we did not get a parent-teacher conference. Um, and so this is going to be the first time that we've really been able to, you know, go inside their classroom and hear all of the... Oh, the dish, man. I just want to hear how she's doing. <laughs> like, I want to hear if, uh, if her side of events is the same. That makes sense. If she's telling us accurate stories. Hang on, I'm just going to swap up my SD card. Sorry about that. I needed to empty some videos off my card because I wasn't paying attention. Um, I do need to do... This. I need to figure out a better way to clean the the uh, laundry machine because I've used these tablets and I'm going to use them up while I have them. But the uh, uh, the the machine still kind of stinks. Um, let me see. I'll put. Need to re up my Twitch Prime. Yeah, some of these are like behind because I've got these charcoal bags that you're supposed to like refresh in the sun and I thought they might be woo but I looked it up and it kind of isn't I don't know about the refreshing in the sun part but it's been raining so I haven't had a chance to do it yet um let's see we're due to change our erasers and then yeah, okay. So it's everything off the recurring task list. There's still a few things that are on this one until they move to the new year and some others that are going to stay on this one. This is the any old kind of um, repeat, whereas this is things that happen like once a month or once every so many months. So there are some things on here also that need to get done. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need to do... Probably don't need to put them all on my monthly... And counting. I need to do video backup. I need to uh, see. Oh, my toothbrush. I'll just put Sonicare because that's my toothbrush. Um, and then yes, yes, yeah, probably. Okay, that's everything off that one. I'm just going to kind of flip through. Um, there's some things that are on. Oh, I can check if there's birthdays. There, uh, oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. The 21st is St. Agnes. February 1st is St. Bridget, so I don't want to forget about that because it sneaks up on you. But anyway, and then 26th is the anniversary of my brother-in-law passing away. So we always do something for that. Then, let's see, I'm looking through weeklies, I'm looking through dailies. I'm not really looking through them, I'm flipping through sections. Um, okay, now we're on the pregnancy section. Um, I just want to sort of, well, I'm going to do this a little bit off camera. 
because there is some personal information in here. I don't want to make sure that, that I don't miss any appointments. Not that I would, like they text you in advance, but uh, I don't want to be blindsided. Yeah, okay, I need to, what do I even have on month six? I don't have anything on month six. I'm gonna put that over here. Go bag list, that's, that's the thing, is there's room here, and then there's room here for tasks. I have to decide where what the difference is. I feel like there's some things I need to put on these like pregnancy prep checklists, but I haven't yet. And a lot of them just kind of, I want to wait until my husband has a steady job um, before like making superfluous purchases. Because it's kind of fun to buy stuff for new babies that you didn't get to use with your old ones. Old babies. Um, with previous babies. Okay. I have flipped all the way through my planner and I think I'm out of pages and there's nothing else left to write down. So I think that's everything. Um, I'm going to, again, do my best to actually use this spread. <laughs> um, I don't flip to my monthly as often as I should and I think that's part of the problem. Um, especially since I have been using a weekly that has a next week section on it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's like on here that is m events and tasks for next month. Oh yeah. See, cause then there's like moving day. I have to figure out what's happening with that. My office is moving and I think, I still think that the date they have doesn't seem realistic. Um, I think it's going to get pushed back again, but we'll see. I'm not happy about it because I currently live 10 minutes from work and that will no longer be the case in a couple of weeks. I wonder if... Yeah, there's room. All right, let's quickly do just a little bit more of this washi tape because we can do cohesive theming across. If I just do a little bit over here. But as I say, do this, I will just tell you, uh, it's been, thanks so much for whatever. Uh, thank you for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you also feel like me, like, uh, January sneaks up on you, no matter how far away you can see it coming. Um, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by it, even though it's probably not a big deal, let me know I'm not alone. Um, or if you have already figured out a way to overcome that weird mental block, about the new year, then uh, let me know that too. Do you have any fun New Year's plans? All that kind of stuff can go in comments below. Don't forget to subscribe because uh, I post videos every Thursday about my planner setup. And I'll see you guys in the next one on Thursday. Bye.